Welcome to part two of my series on how I practice. For today's video, I'll be using a beautiful Guarneri loaned to me by Rooning and Son Violins in Boston. It's a perfect instrument for the repertoire today, which is Johannes Brahms' third violin sonata in D minor. We're gonna focus on the fourth and then the second movement today. And I'm gonna to try to make the comments as um, universal and applicable as possible. So it's not just useful for this sonata, but for anything you might be practicing. You can also check out the part one video where I focus on the first movement. I was so glad to get a lot of positive feedback for the first video, and I'm just very happy that the content and the format uh, was something useful. I even had a friend tell me that uh, she learned more in the 25 minute video than she did in all of her years at conservatory. So I look forward to pushing this kind of format further and working in that direction. Just a few housekeeping items before we begin. I'm going to run my second Q&A very soon. So if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, put them down below in the comments section, either in this video or any of my others, and I will pick some to feature. You can also check out my pay hip link and that's where I have a bunch of free documents that I've prepared, as well as my 64 practice hacks, where you'll find the techniques used in this video and much more. As always, if you want to support my work and the expansion of this channel, you can head over to my Patreon account, where I'm making other videos on violin technique, uh, as well as offering benefits for members. Now let's get started.
that's all for this mini series. Um, feel free to comment down below if you have ideas on how I could have practiced this piece otherwise. The possibilities are really endless. And if you have any questions that you'd like to submit for the Q&A, you can just ask them here or on any one of my other videos. Be well and see you next time. Thank you.